We are talking the Sistine Chapel here in Montreal. That's a head scratcher. You don't understand it. Right. But Martin Bialis is here to explain it, the producer of the show. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Hey, good morning. Um, let's talk a little bit about what this exhibition is, because you can't really you you can't move that exhibit. You can't move that building here. But you came up with a clever way to to give more people access to it. Exactly. See, we specialize in uh, exhibitions, large scale exhibitions. And we're a California-based company. And uh, what, what, when you go to the Sistine Chapel, you know, first of all, you stand in line forever. Once you get in, you got 20 minutes. You'll be with a thousand or so people. They got six million visitors a year. Wow. And uh, so my idea was. Well, how can we bring it up close? You know, the, especially the the major works the from ceiling. Michelangelo. The ceiling yeah. uh, is thirty some meters high, and you again, you can't really see it. So what we did is, uh, a photographer was allowed up there on scaffolding twenty years ago when they renovated it, and so we are fully licensed by that photographer, and we recreated every piece that bought an average of three by six meters each wow. each panel each fresco and we have 36 of those so the entire exhibit is now over a thousand square meters and Montreal will be the world premiere of that exhibit let's talk about why Montreal I mean you could have started this anywhere why Montreal well there are two reasons first of all I think the demographics are perfect here uh, people are very cultural, have a big cultural background uh, you are one of the major metropolitan cities in the world I mean uh, and why not? And, and, <laughs> I like that reason. You know, and the why other, not? Right, and the other major reason is um, we have never, really never been able to bring the big blockbuster exhibits to Montreal because you didn't really have the right space. Okay. And now you do. The Palais de Congrès yeah. has built out a specific space in that convention center for exhibits. That's about 1,600 square meters in size. And now we can start bringing those kind of exhibits here to Montreal. And tell me, Martin, what is the reaction? Because this is, this is great for older people, younger people, families, kids, uh, people who have dreamt of going to see this up close. Now this mm -hmm. is going to be up close and personal. What are you hoping for in terms of reaction? Well, uh, I think people will just be stunned. You know, I've, uh, I've obviously worked on this project for over two years, and I've seen these panels being Created, and when you stand in front of that magnificent uh, fresco uh, creation of Adam uh, uh, and see it in that big, stunning size, you're just at awe. Yeah. And uh, I think people will. What I would like people to do is also use this as a, a, a place for inspiration, tranquility, a sanctuary, so kind of get out of the hectic life and enjoy art and music. We will have some beautiful music. I feel like it would be very awe-inspiring and just, as you said, a place of tranquility. Martin, Bialz, thank you so much for joining us again. It's happening at the Palais des Congrès. Starting July, opening July 10, and tickets go on sale this Thursday on the 11th. All right. Well, come one, come all. It's going to be breathtaking. Thank you so much for Thank joining us. Thank you so us. much.